An update on the Orlando Pride tonight. Players are getting ready for a new season with a new head coach. Fox 35 sports anchor Adam Shadoff spoke with Amanda Cromwell. After two decades working as a college coach, new Pride head coach Amanda Cromwell in her week and a half here with the Pride so far has learned a number of things, one of which is she just doesn't have to deal with as much stuff as she did at UCLA. Uh, we don't pick up cones anymore. We turn around and everyone's already done it. Like all, all the fields put away and all the equipment. Like we just have so much support staff just to, from the field set up to um, taking care of the players, to fitness, to the warm ups. Everything's just very professional. Um, like we really can focus on the field, on the players. And I don't have to go back and worry about academics and uh, who got trouble in the dorms and, you know, that kind of stuff. So um, for the first time in a long time, you know, I've, I've coached college for 25 years, that I could focus on really what you know, the game. Even with lots of staff to help out, it's never easy for a team to get used to an entirely new coaching staff and after losing a number of key players in the offseason too. But Cromwell seems happy with that so far. I think they're adapting well. Like we, yeah, we've talked about a certain system that we want to build on, but I think they they really like the setup that we have so far. That said, there is still a core group of experienced veterans on this team, along with a good mix of younger players, all of them pulling in the same direction, which helps a new coach. I think everyone's just so willing. If you have a group of girls like we do who's just willing to learn, willing to adapt, willing to do what the coaching staff wants from them. Um, you can pretty much do anything. So that's what we have now, and we can kind of build what we want from this and what the coaching staff wants, and I think that's great, and I want to be a part of something, build something great here. The vets have been uh, huge with leadership and kind of having that that servant mentality of like, let me let me do whatever it takes. And, um, and that's to me, the best teams in the world also um, are the ones that fight for each other and have each other's back. And I think that's the the culture there. This leadership group is 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 definitely developing from pride training. I'm Adam Shadoff, Fox 35 Sports.